A very important aspect of Floor 30 is keeping Musashi alive, which is easier said than done, especially when more than one is out on the field. There is a tactic that facilitates this, however, calculating Hermit's health. Calculating means keeping track of how much damage you inflict the Hermit over time so that you know when he will get knocked back the next time, allowing you to prevent Musashi from moving forward. Musashi needs 11 hits to knock Hermit back, 10 if you use attack up small, and 9 with cool Japan. For Awakened Musashi, he needs 8 hits, still 8 with attack up small, and 7 with cool Japan. Swimmer hitting Hermit twice is generally equal to a bit more than one Musashi hit. A Hypermax Maglev is about one hit. Manic Island is about a third of a hit. Awakened Bahamut is about three hits per full attack cycle. Those numbers don't tell the full story. If we take the second form without combos, for example, 11 hits is actually 10 hits and 10,300 extra damage. Meaning that if you chip with Fishmen, or other units that inflict more damage than the Musashi hit, it'll typically be 10 hits instead. So, how exactly do you use calculating to your advantage? Well, a Hermit is only one Musashi hit from getting knocked back, and you're aware of it, you can adjust your plays accordingly. In general, you'd want Musashi to get the damage knockback instead of Fishman, Mag Island, Mag Mohawk, etc., assuming Musashi is idle and not mid animation when you summon them. However, this tactic can still work, especially with Awakened Bahamut since it deals so much damage. Speaking of, there might be times when you want to send out Awakened Bahamut preemptively so you can get two hits, knocking Hermit back on the second. Once Hermit gets knocked back, you want to avoid having any units on the field that could trigger his attack, since you want to let him move forward again to prevent Musashi from doing so himself. Obviously, you're not going to be able to track Hermit self accurately 100% of the time. There are two specific situations I want to cover regarding this. The first one is when you have to deal with partial damage. For example, if you send out Swimmer, he hits a Peon, gets waved, and hits Hermit once, that's equal to about half a hit. To compensate for this, we can send out the next Swimmer with intentionally bad timing so that he gets hit by a wave and only attacks Hermit once, bringing the calculations back to whole numbers. The second situation is when you lose track of how much damage you've inflicted to Hermit between two knockbacks. What I usually do in this case is try to guess when the next knockback is going to happen, which is a lot easier with Awakened Bahamut, who can potentially compensate if you're as much as 6 hits short. And I start counting again when Hermit gets knocked back again, 